welcome back to the latest video. If you find these videos helpful, please hit the like button on the YouTube video. Uh, if you haven't already done so, please subscribe to the channel and click the bell so that you'll get notified when we bring new videos out. Now you can see in this clip here, the sat nav's on at the moment, independent driving section. Throughout this video, you're going to see a couple of serious faults, a couple of minor faults. Um, watch all the way through to the end, as we do have faults towards the end of the video. So the learner driver is coming on to the slip road and ideally here you're trying to build your speed up towards 70. That's the maximum limit. So we'll bring the car speed on here. Now if you look in the rear view mirror, there's a bus coming. I'll show you a better picture of that bus. Now the bus has to move over to let this learner in. Now this learner's currently doing 49 miles an hour. They could have been pushing up towards 70 miles an hour before coming onto this road. And if they had done that, I would have stopped the bus having to move over to that fast overtaking lane. So we've marked a serious fault there for having an impact on the bus. Now this is the end of the satellite navigation route, end of independent driving and the next thing you're going to see is the reverse into a bay exercise here in the car park. Now I'm going to let this play through at normal speed and I've added a timer. Now the reason I've added this timer is it, it took over two minutes to get the car into this bay here and there was no other cars involved. It's not that you have to rush into the bay, but it should probably be done in less than two minutes. So you can see them going out, trying to straighten the car up. Now I will say, throughout this manoeuvre, the learner's checks were brilliant, they were checking constantly over the right shoulder, over the left shoulder, they were keeping an eye on the car park. So we're just over the two minute mark here and that's the car just coming to a stop. Now I'll show a picture on the screen of how it looked from above. The car, the Nissan Leaf, gives us a, a top down view. You can see on the picture they managed to get in after that. So the fault awarded was a minor fault. A, just for taking a bit of time there. 
and for having to do so much corrective work with the steering. Now this is Broad Street in Cowdenbeath, it's a 30 miles an hour zone at the moment. I'll bring the car speed up here, speed's fine, speed's fine, you can see the national speed limits up ahead. However, the speed goes up and up and up and up and up and gets up to 37 miles an hour before passing through the sign. So if you're going up to a high speed, do it after you pass the sign, serious fault. Now there was a fault recorded on this roundabout, it was a minor fault for leaving this roundabout without an exit signal. The instruction here was to go ahead, taking the third exit to the A907. If you have a look at the board here, A907 is in the middle in the right lane, so the middle lane is best. The learner takes the right hand lane, which isn't ideal, but the fault here was being over the line and not being disciplined to stay inside the lane. There was no other cars affected, so it was marked as a minor fault. And you'll see here the reason being in this right-hand lane wasn't a big deal was because they managed to safely get back over to the left lane after they're done with the roundabout. So, advice? If you've got options, take the left of your options. If you want a slightly easier time, if you take the right lane of your options, then it's not so much that it's wrong, it just means that you've got to return after you finish with the roundabout, so you've just got a bit more work to do, and that could lead to problems if it's really busy. Now this is coming up towards the end of the mock test. Many roundabout turn and right. Have a look on the right, there's a blue car. There's signalling left to come this way, as shown by this arrow. So we can go, the learner should go right away. There's another blue car, who's going ahead? That's a blocking scenario, they should really be going. There's a car behind them, you can see that in the mirror. But they don't take this opportunity to go. They're hesitant. The wait, there was another chance there. The wait, the waiting, the waiting. They missed that chance. Another blocker scenario with the blue car. So too long waiting on an opportunity which they've had a few opportunities to get onto the roundabout. 
So because it took them so long to go, I've marked this as a serious fault. 